United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in Kyiv late Sunday night, the highest level visit to the country's capital by an American delegation since the start of Russia's invasion. The secretive meeting came as Ukraine pressed the West for more powerful weapons against Russia's campaign in the Donbas region of eastern Ukraine, where Moscow's forces sought to dislodge the last Ukrainian troops in the battered port of Mariupol. According to the Associated Press, Blinken and Austin told Zelensky and his advisers that the United States would provide more than $300 million in foreign military financing and had approved a $165 million sale of ammunition. They also said that President Joe Biden would soon announce his nominee for ambassador to Ukraine and that American diplomats who left Ukraine before the war would start returning to the country this coming week, AP reported. Reporters who accompanied Austin and Blinken to Poland were barred by Pentagon and State Department officials from reporting the key visit until the two men physically left Ukraine. You. S. Officials cited security concerns. In a tweet Sunday, Zelensky thanked Biden for his leadership and support of the Ukrainian people, saying the friendship and partnership between the two countries are stronger than ever. Russia is planning a staged referendum in Kherson, a southern city that fell to Russian forces early in the war. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres will travel to Moscow and meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday, his office said in a statement last week. Some Ukrainian officials say the meeting isn't a good idea. Igor Jovkva, an advisor to Zelensky, said Guterres and the UN are not really authorized to speak on behalf of Ukraine and attempt peace talk negotiations with Russia on NBC's Meet the Press. This is not a good idea to travel to Moscow. We did not understand his intention to travel to Moscow and to talk to President Putin, he said, adding, any peace talks are good if they end with a result. I really doubt if those peace talks organized by the Secretary General of the U.N. would end up with any result. He criticized the U.N. for lagging behind in providing humanitarian aid to Ukraine, saying Guterres should concentrate on that as well.